Today we're going to be looking at the refinements that have been made in the tension meter calibrator. This is the first incarnation, the first design. Uh, we've called it model 1.0. And in this design, the hardware that we used is very simple. Uh, we used a, uh, a threaded hook at the top and an eye bolt at the bottom. The spoke holder was uh, U-bolts with a 5 30 seconds hole drilled in the plate on each end to accommodate a, a nipple. And what that required was that the spoke be cut and threaded at both ends. So we had to essentially destroy the spoke in order to install it in the calibrator. Model 1.1, the first refinement of the design. Still using the hook at the top and the eye bolt at the bottom. We're still using the U-bolts for the spoke holders. The top spoke holder is the same as the model 1.0. The bottom of this uh, bottom U-bolt of the spoke holder, we have a tab with a hole in it so that a J-bend spoke can be mounted, and we no longer have to destroy the spoke and thread both ends of it to mount it in the calibrator. And for a straight pull spoke, I have another plate that's just drilled with a 3/30 seconds hole, and uh, there again we can test the straight pull spoke without cutting it. So here we have the final configuration. I'm now calling this model 1.2 and we've replaced the hook and eye with uh, sections of threaded rod and at the top I'm using uh, clevises uh, both top and bottom on the scale and on the underside of the clevis at the top I've got a section of bolt threaded into it and uh, as you can see on this one here I've drilled a hole through the center of the bolt and uh, drilled it so that um, the spoke nipple will fit in so we can pass the spoke through the bolt and support it with the nipple And here I have the straight pull uh, spoke holder mounted, and that's a coupler nut with a section of threaded rod installed in it and a hole drilled through it. A 3 30 seconds hole uh, will allow anything up to a, a um, 13 gauge spoke to pass through. And uh, this thread on the bottom is. Uh, Still 3 16 by 16, same as the threaded eye bolt was. So I've moved the wing nut to the bottom. Unfortunately, I've so far not been able to find a wing nut with an M10 by 1.25 thread. The advantage of having the 1.25 thread, it's a finer thread than the 3 8 by 16, so it'll be a little bit easier to fine tune the, um, the tension setting. J-bend spoke holder, lower spoke holder. Again, a coupler nut with a, um, a tab threaded into it, a hole drilled through it to, uh, to hold the uh, J-bend of the spoke. So overall, a much cleaner look than with the U-bolts uh, and the hook and eye arrangement, I think. Any future models that I build will have this configuration. I don't have any more uh, plans in mind for any future refinements, but you never know. As time goes on, I might get some more bright ideas, ways to clean up the design a little bit. Anyway, seems to work pretty good. I just give it a test run there, and uh, no issues at all. Thanks for watching.